Hello there and welcome to today's Facecast. Today we're in the book of, or the letter, to the church in Thessalonica. And it's the second letter, so it's 2 Thessalonians, chapter 1, verse 6. Let me read it, see what it says. God is just. He will pay back trouble to those who trouble you and give relief to you who are troubled and to us as well. And the passage goes on to talk a bit more about this aspect of who God is and how he will treat people and deal with people. It starts by saying these three little words, God is just, just as in justified justice, correctness. God is right. He sees right from wrong. He knows what is right. And he obeys by the laws of right and wrong, the laws that he has set in place, his edicts, spelled out to us supremely in the Ten Commandments in the Old Testament, lived out through the rest of the Old Testament and now into and through the birth of the church in the New Testament about how we should be living in a correct way, a just way, a way that is full of justice. God is just. It goes on to explain what that means. He will pay back trouble to those who trouble you. So he will be our defender and our shield and, and make sure that the, those who trouble us are not let off scot-free. And give relief to you who are troubled, as to us as well. So whoever he's writing about and wherever he's from, Paul this is, he's saying that he will bring relief of suffering to us too. And he will bring relief of suffering to you. He will... Let me read that bit again. He will pay back trouble to those who trouble you. It goes on later in the passage to talk about you being the ones who are in Christ. Those who have decided to follow the way of Christ. Those of you who have accepted Jesus Christ as your saviour. They're the ones he's talking about here. Not just everybody out there, but the ones who are seeking righteousness. Seeking to be right with God through accepting Jesus. To those people, there will be justice. He will be just to them. He will protect them and lead them and guide them. Will you see that every day of your life? Maybe. Will you see that happening occasionally in your life? You might do. Will you be completely unaware of it, but it happening anyway? Possibly. But the point is, God is just. He doesn't want there to be iniquity. He doesn't want there to be inequality. He doesn't want there to be suffering. He wants good things to happen and right things to happen. Oh yes, he knows that there is suffering. We cause it. It doesn't dangle us on strings like puppets to stop us hurting one another. But he does give us a way of putting things right. He gives us forgiveness. He gives us hope. He gives us a fresh start every day. There's all sorts of ways that we can put right the things we've done wrong and repair this world in which we live. All of which will be justice. And that is what God is and what he does in us and through us. He creates the correct way of living. If only we would listen to him and follow his supreme example to us, Jesus, our Lord and Saviour. End of sermon. See you soon. Bye for now.